training. So this is my uh, second day in India. And uh, look who calls me, my friend from Canada, from Edmonton, Alison Jones. Uh, I want to share a little brief introduction about Alison Jones. And Alison Jones is with me to talk uh, to... Hey, everybody. Hi, Hi, Amarjit. I'm Hi, Alison. You, you, look, you look fabulous. Uh, Alison Jones, according, you know, I've been practicing immigration law for at least, uh, been involved in immigration field for at least uh, 12 plus years in Canada and yeah. more in background. And I can tell you with confidence that Alison Jones is the queen of LMIA and work permit uh, processing and foreign uh, workers recruitment in Canada. Uh, and Alison Jones is with me to talk about what her plans are for. Uh, recruitment of some key talent that she's looking for and sh and she will also talk about what the issues are currently in process about LMIA and general about immigration uh, as an industry in Canada. So Addison, welcome to my show. Uh, so glad to see you and uh, share with us anything that you want to begin with, with with the viewers who are looking at you and hearing about what is happening in Canada as far as recruitment of foreign workers, many Indians and Chinese and other people all over the world, they they are just uh, desperately, they are searching online and searching different sources where they can latch on to some job that pays a good salary and, and possibly transition to put PR. And who who is a better person than you to talk about that process? And what 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 are the shortage areas right now Canada is looking for? Okay, thank you, Amarjet, for the for, for the great introduction, and um, and uh, likewise, a a Amarjet and I have known for known each other for a number of years, and um, and so it, it I, I respect his knowledge and the fact that he has spoken very highly of me. So my my company, Allison Jones Consulting Services, and AJ Immigration Group. We bring in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of foreign workers every every year because we have a great demand of um, Canadian employers who who will retain our services and go, Allison, we have a labor shortage. We we cannot find the people that we need here in Canada. And we're sick of seeing the same resume over and over and over again because it's such a labor shortage. All the recruit recruiters are, are are shopping the same talent pool, and the employers are going, "No, you know what? This isn't working for us. This isn't working for us. This isn't working for us." So that's when we come in and go, "Awesome!" Because you know what? There's eight billion people in the world. Seven billion want to come to Canada, and let us find you the best talent out of those seven billion. And they go, absolutely. So, so this is what we do. We bring in a lot of foreign workers based on LMIA, based on a PMP program, and now with the, with the international talent mobility. We have just launched uh, an ID, an IT company with our program. Um, and the government is on side. They're saying, you know what, employers, you don't have to demonstrate there's labor market market shortage. We already know it. We will now expedite the foreign national you've named who you want to work for you within two weeks, whether they want a temporary resident visa and work permit. So, so the opportunities opportunities are exploding. And I'm just going to say something to everybody. Last month, Canadian Census Canada revealed, based on their censorship poll of 2018, that there are now more Canadians under the age of 25 than there are seniors. So that is a tsunami for an absolute labor shortage. Oh, and so yeah. this is why this is why the government is is bringing in pilot projects at the provincial level 
bringing pilot projects at the federal level because we need workers and they want to cherry pick the best workers there are. And how do they cherry pick those best workers? Education, English ability, adaptability, your experience. That's what they do. And, uh, and Canada is saying, welcome. We welcome everybody, but you know what? Be an economic benefit to us. What what Allison uh, what Allison referred to was uh, uh, the government will expedite the process within two weeks. They will process the work permit. I I guess uh, she's referring to what is called a global skill strategy program in which yeah. uh, highly advanced skill IT professional and I guess in all other 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 skill as well. Somebody who has a salary of I think if I remember well eighty thousand dollars plus and you know more. Right. Uh, those those. Uh, those highly skilled talent are given the first attention in processing of work permit under TF2 uh, program. And, uh, you know, they, they, they can uh, quickly get to work uh, quite, quite fast. And within, uh, from start to finish, I think uh, the recruitment and screening resumes and interview and everything, you could expect yourself to be in Canada, depending on how uh, slow the visa process in your country is in about less than uh, four to six weeks. Uh, reasonably. Yeah. You're, you're, uh, Addison, you're yeah. yeah. Ali, Addison, are you are you looking for some IT talent right now as we speak? You, you know what? The 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 company, uh, my company has just opened up an, an IT branch. And, and I'm gonna share with you, we haven't opened it yet. We we have done a soft launch. And sure. and the reason why we're open opening it because our clients have have sort of forced us into opening this because we deal with Fortune 500 companies and not only can we provide them with with, with workers, they, they'll go, Allison, we need somebody in the IT business. Can you please, can, can, do you have anybody? And now we can say yes. We have a pool right now of a number of people. We, we get resumes. Mm, on, on, on average, just me personally, and, and I have a staff of many, but just me personally, I probably get about 260, 70 resumes or CBs a week of IT people. So you IT folks, and India is the Mecca. So, okay, l let me tell, can I talk about India? Can I get excited about India? Please, Am I allowed please, to do that? Please. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So... So I will. T uh, so our clients are banks, provincial governments, national governments, Fortune 500 companies, and they're saying, Allison, there is such a labor shortage that that internal national cr cr recruiters within Canada will present them resumes, and they're going, you know what? We're tired of the same resume. We're looking at the same resume over and over and over again. So it gives me an opportunity to go, you know what? You no longer need to be tired of looking that same resume over and over again within Canada, because now we can shop it. We're gonna shop in India and we can get you a plethora of resumes and you can go, yes, 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 and oh yes. I like, so, I like the word plethora. Yeah, I, so, but, but it's like true, that. right? Like, like, like re recruiters in Canada are frustrated. National, so I'm a national and international recruiter. So national re recruiters are frustrated because they're dipping into the same pond. They're, they're, they're competing for the same people over and over again. They're presenting the resume to the employer and, pro and the employer is going, you know what, we've seen this. Can you do better? So that's when we come in and go, yes, we can do better because now we're going to shop the international market and they go, wow, what's that all about? And that's when we come in and share with them the opportunities that they have to grow in, in their IT department and the, and the foreign workers. So it, it, it's a perfect world. It, it, it is a perfect world where we have a need and a demand. Uh, I, I want to remind uh, remind most viewers who are watching uh, this presentation by Allison 
Uh, we are looking for software engineers, IT uh, yeah. specialists, um, whether they're engineers, software system analysts, at least minimum five years plus experience, five to 10 yeah. years yeah. is yeah. ideal. Uh, it is, yeah. it is, uh, it is recommended that if you have international experience, perhaps you have worked for some assignment in US, in Silicon Valley, or maybe in Europe, or Australia, somewhere. If you have international experience with a top six, uh, you know, top uh, IT company, uh, that is preferable because it's easy for them, for the prospective employers in Canada to verify your experience. So that is always recommended. I also prefer that candidates supply their IELTS score at the same time when they present their CV or resume uh, because the combination of IT skills plus English is, is, is a total package. They can assess quickly whether you know, they want to proceed or not, uh, and then we'll go from there. So just to give you, give you a little summary on Alison Jones is looking to hire IT staff I said earlier, at least five years plus experience in a fairly in a senior position. I mean, these are these are jobs that that on a median salary is close to ninety thousand or hundred thousand dollars, and you are easy, yeah, yeah, easy, easy. And, and plus and plus the company is paying for most of the expenses. Perhaps they will give a relocation. I do not know. Perhaps Allison would confirm. Maybe it's, uh, it's, it's always it, it's always case specific. It's yeah. always case specific. Okay. And so this this is a tremendous, tremendous opportunity for you to actually relocate yourself from whichever country you are in. And I know some some people may, might be watching this video in U.S. now in Silicon Valley, where H-1B problems are hindering uh, people to transition to green card. They might be looking at Canada, Canada as a, as an alternative. Uh, so whether you are in U.S. or whether you are in Europe or whether you are in India. Uh, in, especially in Southern India. I know there's this South, South India is a hub of IT uh, processing, Google, Microsoft, and all top names of the world are in South, South part of India. They must be watching. Uh, if, you, if you have an uh, outstanding resume, at least five years plus experience in a verifiable testimonial in a big company where they can check your you know, experience well, plus your English skills. Uh, and plus their West. Wes, okay, okay, yeah. Wes is the uh, is the is the assessment of education. If you have a bachelor's or master's degree, that yeah. is even easier for them to understand how valuable your quality. This is for the for, at the aim of applying for PR in the future. But the the initially you will get only the work permit for depending on I think it's possibly one year initially, and it can all always be extended. Uh, yes, for sure. I had to. I had to. Uh, I was interrupted by somebody calling in. Uh, so let me just uh, out. So uh, initially, you will get the work permit, and uh, you will be able to take your dependent spouse and and the children as well if you want to. Uh, and and uh, then you know you can easily you can easily qualify to any possibly nomination uh, through province or express entry, whichever way it's it's okay for you. Yes, it, it's it's actually exciting times for 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 skilled workers, and and you're correct, Amrjet, that that um, you know we certainly are looking the IT IT hub of everything, as well as artificial intelligence AI. That that that's another sector that we will eventually be chasing. Because th this is this is where we are trying to stay ahead of the curve, and the government understands that. So as a result, they're they're making they're making um, programs and pilot projects, and the ability to facilitate your entrance, streamline it much quicker because of, of the result of the demand. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Alison, for now we will uh, we will conclude uh, this talk, and I will. Uh, invite Allison again to talk about general changes in LMIA. Uh, there has been recent announcement by the government about uh, giving chances for people who are in the semi-skilled agriculture processing, meat cutting industry, mushroom growth Huge. industry. Yeah. Uh, there, there, are, there are pockets of area in Canada where, especially in the maritime provinces, where they're looking for 
uh, meat packing and you know meat uh, like the, I think there were I read uh, butchers. Uh, so, but of course you need a job offer and uh, we don't deal in it. Uh, but you know changes are changes are occurring faster. And, and, and you know what you're right, Amrjet, and and we do deal with that. So whether you're in the Atlantic Pilot Project or Maple Leaf working farms where they're working at capacity of 70%. And now we're bringing on Amazon as clients. So in their warehouse facilities that they're opening up in Canada. So there is, there is a number of opportunities that, you know what, that, 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 that myself as an agency, we almost can say, we almost have to say like, slow down. <laughs> which is hard for me as a salesperson because yeah. there are so many opportunities available for so many people. Right now on our books, we have 1,200 vacancies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are, you are, you are sitting on the, on the hiring pyramid. Uh, you are, yeah, 1,200 vacancies. Yeah, top of the game there. Uh, Alison, would you like to leave your, or you would you like to say your email address at least where, somebody who has a matching resume they can email you the resume directly or i can later on post at the bottom of the screen where people can follow up with you eventually yeah for sure Let, let's post it at the, at the bottom of your screen that people can okay. follow up that would be awesome and i and you know what amarjet i i've i've always admired you since the day i met you in the classroom and and today and I just have to say a very big thank you for allowing me uh, to be on your show. Thank you very much. Uh, guys who do not know, uh, I think she was referring to a classroom. Uh, be connected in the, in the classroom for the immigration uh, course uh, at Ashton College this time. This was in uh, which year, Alison, remind me, is what, 2013, 12? I think 2012. In 2012, I think. 2012. Yeah. And this was the first time I, I, I that's what the class. And it, it was the first time they did a pilot project for us. Yeah. And, and, well, and, yeah, you're, and, and you're we right. contributed Ashton. to that pilot pro project of, of and, Ashton College of Vancouver. And yeah, so it was great. And, and people do not know, perhaps, Alison, maybe you do not know that I went to Ashton College a year prior in uh, 2012, but I came oh, back wow, because, I because, because I, I did not like it or some, I, I don't know what happened. And I came back and they called me and said, we are running this first program starting January of the succeeding year. And that's how, that's how it will then this all this week. <laughs> okay. okay, can I just share a funny story with your, view, with your listeners? Please. Please. So uh, I'm uh, I'm Canadian born. I was born in Toronto General Hospital, and so so really, uh, uh, when I took this immigration course, people people are like, "What do you know about immigration?" I, I'm not an immigrant, and I went, "I don't have a clue. I, I'm just really good at at brokering deals." So what does that look like in in our world and in, in my world? The brokering deals means I, I've got a client, which is an employer. And I've got a, 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 an employee, a foreign worker, and I match them up and it and they become rock stars and it's a perfect world. There's a pathway to permanent residency and it's all good. So really, what do I, what do I know about permanent residency? So i had been in business. The government changed the laws. We need to take our license. I registered with Ashton College. And I was a day day or two late even coming into the classroom, I think, Amrjit. And everybody was going, oh, you know, Irpa this and Irpa that. And I'm like, you know what? I gotta hit <laughs> hook up with this Irpa person because she obviously knows where it's at. Yep. Irpa stands for Im Immigration Refugee Protection Act. Clearly, I really did not know anything about anything. But as a result of over a decade now, I've, I, I know a lot and I, I've hired many, many, many immigration consultants and, um, and Amrjet was very pivotal in, in, in launching, in, in launching, um, not only my career, but my confidence. 
So, um, so it's awesome that, you, you know, almost a dec decade later, we can, we can come completely 360 and go, hey, where are you at? And, and, and how can we collaborate our idea, our, our ideas and, and our thoughts and our mythology and, and how can we move forward and, and make it better for, for, for everybody and, and for our companies. And, and so I, I'm very honored to, to be here and, and welcome the opportunity because, you know, it was a struggle um, on a different level than you guys struggle, but a struggle is a struggle. And, um, and my company is very successful and, and, uh, and I'm glad I have the backing of Amrjet that get, that gives me the confidence to, to, to continue to move forward. Thank you very much, Alison, for your kind and generous words. Uh, anybody who is, I can, I can uh, confidently claim anybody who is in Alberta at the least, um, you know, even beyond, and uh, they are connected in temporary foreign worker recruitment industry, or maybe working in Canadian Tire, as many Filipinos, Filipinas are, they would have definitely heard about Alison Jones. It is impossible not to have come across her name uh, if you are a foreign worker. Uh, working in different capacities in all the world. Uh, so Alison, uh, Alison Jones is a uh, is a well recognized brand. All you have to do is type on Google Alison Jones. You will see a lot of references. Yeah, and, and feel happy to join our Facebook page, uh, AJ Immigration Group. Is that right, Morgan? AJ Immigration Group. It's an open forum. Um, everybody can share whatever the, ever they want to share. So the non-believers can talk to the believers, <laughs> and 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 we don't monitor things. So you guys can uh, trash me or 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 put me on a pedestal. So we're 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 pretty open and and transparent because I think that's important um, because it's a, because it's scary, right? It's scary for somebody to come halfway across the world to follow their dreams because everybody's dream is to come to Canada and uh, and 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 we don't want to taint it. So you know what? Talk to people who've done it, who've done your journey, who who have crossed the Atlantic, who have come here and and have made the transition. So we welcome everybody to do that. Go on our Facebook page. We we it is it is free reign. Fly at her, love us, hate us, but you know what? At the end of the day, we're one hundred percent real. I will. I will post uh, Alison's email address for resumes to be sent, and also the Facebook page that she was referring to. And uh, people can directly contact her by sending their resume CVs by email. All right. Thank you very much for your time, Alison. As and always, thank you, Amazon. I, I will invite you again and to talk about further topic uh, beyond. I will, the, beyond I will 